is going on YouTube? It's your boy Sean, aka Sean Steiger, back again with another video. And guys, I want to show you that the MLS cards right now are actually very profitable. If you guys still have unsold MLS investments, like a lot of these guys have gone up so much. I mean, looking at these players I've sold here, Raheem Edwards, almost 5,000 coins for him. That was one of the guys I suggested picking up in my MLS investing part two video. And looking at the other guys here, Bernardo, I sold this Bernardo that I picked up for like 5,000 coins. Sold him at 10,000 coins, max spin. He's an extremely rare card. I'm not sure why he's so rare, but he's just really hard to find in this game. Tyro Mears, 1,400 Brillant, 2,300 coins, 1,400 for that Miller to earn. I mean, just looking at the list here, just going down the list, I'm getting 1,000 coins or more for all of these players I've sold. We did sell a Cassie there for uh, almost 40,000 coins. Want to watch Cassie? He did get it in form just today, so that was a pretty good uh, sale there. Managed to make about 30,000 coins profit on him. Uh, the other guys here, 900 coins for the Morgan. Even the Arlana, I know that the center backs for Galaxy didn't go up that much, but 600 coins isn't terrible though, considering I bought most of the guys at 200 coins when they were still dirt cheap. Siangel Herrera managed to sell for almost 2,000 coins. I sniped him for 200 coins, minimum buy it now. Sold him for almost 2,000 coins, that's a great value there. White, 1,400 coins. I managed to sell so many of those cards for quite a bit. We're gonna go ahead and do some trading now on the channel with the MLS. This is a filter I like to use right now. I wanna check the maximum buy it now. About 350. We're just gonna look at defenders right now. You can go to the defenders, midfielders, and forwards later. But we're gonna look at just defenders. This guy's actually new. I've not seen this guy yet. Felcher must be one of their new transfers. Uh, I wonder if he sells for anything. 550. That one doesn't sell at all right there. You see 300 for Holling's head. That's the guy we missed last time. We missed him again this time. You could probably sit there and snipe right backs from FC Dallas, and I think you can find something there because I'm missing these Holling's heads, man. But let's check midfielders now. I think a Will Trap is going to sell for a bit more than 250 coins. 1600 on the bid. Yeah, we're going to pick this card up. This is actually a steal for 250. Oh, we do miss the Will Trap. You got to be quick on these deals, though. You see a deal like that, if you know the market and know someone that should sell for a lot more than that, you got to be quick picking them up because these cards fly pretty fast. All right, so Kamara Lawrence, we're going to see what he sells for. I'm seeing 1600 here. 17. This one actually has a backbone on him, too. We've got a chem style on him already. We're gonna sell them for 1,600 coins. Once again, making over a thousand coins profit on this car. It's a great pickup there. So I managed to find this Jossi Zardes in the 59th minute for 300 coins. You literally can't sell them any cheaper than that. So I went ahead and picked him up. I think he sells for about 1,500 coins. We're gonna list him up for 1,500. That's a profit of over a thousand coins for him. So here I've done another cycle with these players. I started with about 13,000 coins and then I put all those coins into players. Sold them up overnight, and this is what I came back with, 27,000 coins. Just by doing this method, I, I, I pretty much doubled my coins, more than doubled my coins, off of this method. Chad Marshall got them for about 400 coins. Sold them up for 1,400 coins, almost 1,000 coins profit for him. 300 coins on this Cragnally, sold them for 1,500 coins. So we're making over 1,000 coins on him. Agadella got them for about 250 coins, sold them for 1,300, 1,000 coins profit again. Certain 1,000 coins profit. We made 2,000 coins profit on Cernan. I got him for 200 coins in the 59th minute on a lazy snipe. Sold him for 2,000 coins. It's making almost 2,000 profit. Got this Jimenez for 150, sold him for 750. Not that great. Uh, Madronda, 1,000 coins. It goes for a little bit more now. Sold this Parker for 1,000 coins. Got him for 250 coins, I believe. Minimum price. Diego Chara, 200 coins on a lazy snipe. Sold him off for 2,000 coins. Teal Bunbury, 1,000 coins. Lobato, 1,100. This is another big one here. Federico Berlant. This is his former um, NYCFC car before he transferred. I had him in my club, I think. And then this is another one I actually picked up for about 800 coins. I think I took the other one off my transfer list, but I did sell two of these cars for 3,000 coins each. And it's only going to go up higher and higher in price as people sacrifice these cards. So all of his cards now are with DC United. This is old card. There's going to be no more of them put into the game. Graham Zussi, 1,200 coins. So as you can see, this stuff really works. Sold these guys for pretty much nothing. It's not really worth it on them. You can make profit on pretty much anything, guys. So what you want to do, you got to put in silver, put in your favorite league. Now, I like MLS. That's what I, what I like to trade with. But any league that has an SBC, so it can be the Eredivisie, it can be uh, Liga Mekis, it can be the Turkish League, something like that, that has a league SBC with a bunch of silvers in it. You're going to go max price, 300 coins. Set your minimum buy it now to 1,000 coins. Because you want to find cards that actually do sell, you know, on the open bid. You don't want to find cards that's going for 350 on the buy it now. Nobody's biting on it. Those, those cards don't sell. 
you're looking for cars that actually do sell. Now this Abini, I don't know if he sells. He doesn't really sell for that much. I stay away from that card. Let's see, Silva, I think he might go for about 800 coins, 1,000 coins. Yeah, he's going for about 950. We're gonna put a 350 coin bid on him, see if we can win that one. Jimmy Madrano, you gotta get these cards. We're gonna put 500 on him. He sells for about 1,800 coins. Kato, I think it was a former right mid back in the day. He's a right back now from the looks of it. Not much from him, 400. Yeah, we're gonna stay away from that card. Let's see what we can find in this list. Another Madrano, we're gonna put 500 on him every time. Dylan Powers, his transfer card, sells for about 600 coins, eh, we can put 300 coins on him, not making much profit off of that, we're going to take him though, 750 for Amelia, but we can probably put, no, nah, that's already too high, I was going to say I would get Amelia for about 150 to 250, but they already bid 300 coins, I don't want to pay 350 on the card that sells for 750 coins, there's not much profit to be made in that one. Ridgewell for about 850 coins, 800 coins, not much profit there either. I'm gonna go back and check the 59th minute on the Lazy Snipes. So that's the first method, 300 coins, max price, 1,000 buy it now. The second method, if you don't see any more deals there, you bid a bunch of stuff already. You wanna put your max buy it now price to 350 coins and go to the 59th minute where all the deals are. And if you guys know the market well, like I kind of know for MLS, uh, you guys know which card is going to be good pick up, which cards aren't. So these cards, none of these cards look like they're that great, unfortunately. For the most part, it's the rare cards that do sell. Not a lot of non-rares sell like that, so we're going to stay away from that for right now. No deals to be had at the moment. So we go back to the first method. Oh, only put 950 there. That should be okay for now, though. We go a little bit further back here. Kendall Watson should be going to pick up. We'll try 350 coins at the moment. He can probably sell for about 1,000 coins. Yeah, 1,000 coins looks like his price. So we can make about 700 coins profit off of him if we sell him. Sanchez, let's go with four, 350 coins for now. I might need to raise that because this card sells for a bit more. He's, he's kind of rare. I think he might be a transfer. 1,300 coins is his minimum buy it now. He could probably sell for about almost 2,000 coins if you guys sell him overnight. So we're going to go raise this one up to 400 coins for right now. Definitely got to watch that one, see if we can win it. Zemanski, the CDMs in this league are really expensive because so many teams run that 4 2 3 one narrow. So if you can find CDMs like this, you definitely want to go in there and drop some bids on them. We're going to put 500 coins on the Zemanski. Let's go back now and check, see if we won anything. All right, so we got quite a few cards this time. Did not get the second Madranda, or the third Madranda, I guess, but we did get one of them. So that's what matters there. We're going to sell these cards on and see what kind of profit we can make. Gonna sell Madrana for 1,800 coins, making over 1,000 coins profit on him. Gonna sell Silver for about 1,000 coins. We're gonna, we're gonna go about 950 on him. Making us like 600 coins on this one. We're gonna go with 700, making about 500 coins profit on that player. So if you're making 500 coins profit or better, I think that's pretty much all I can hope for. That's a pretty good uh, deal there. We're going to raise this one at 700 coins because somebody really wants that car, I can see. But we want it as well. We want that profit. Let's see. Sanchez, we're going to go to about 800 coins. I know you can sell for more. He's, he's rare. Like, if it's a car that's really rare and has like maybe a page and a half on the market, you can kind of set the price higher than what the minimum buy it now for that is. Especially if you're going to list it overnight, definitely don't be afraid to go higher You know than what it's worth on the, the minimum buy it now. We're going to six, uh, 1600 now. We probably went too high for that one. I think we're gonna win that card, and we don't actually win that card. You know, we're gonna we're gonna back out of this one. That guy can have it. He must really want to do the SBC. So props to that guy. He's gonna get a cheap card and do his SBC a little bit cheaper. We're gonna put all of our money into the Sanchez and see if we win for about 850 coins. I don't think I'm gonna bid any higher. So if they bid 900 coins. I think they can have it. Five seconds left. Four, three, two, one, and we do manage to pick up the Sanchez. 850 coins. I think we sell for about 16, 1700 overnight. We'll go with 1700 coins, making us about 900 coins profit. That's not bad at all. Let's check out the bids again, see if we can find anything good. Steroids, I'm gonna stay away from the LA Galaxy center backs for now because they just, they were over invested in, did not end up selling for that much at all. Taylor Kemp, he's the only left back on DC United. Yeah, let's say we can get about a thousand coins for Taylor Kemp. Let's see this Aja, does he sell for anything? Not really. 
But you know what? 150 coin bid. Well, we can do that, you know. Sell for about 300 coins. We're making some profit off of him. Not that much, but profit is profit. Let's check the fee I've made again. See if we can find any lazy snipes. You know, anything crazy like a Diego's Char or any CDMs. Like if he's like a CDM from a team that plays a 4 2 3 1 Nero in the 59th minute, you're making money. A center mid or a CDM. Alright, nothing there again. So now we're back to open bids again. Oh, Coley. Does he really sell for that much? I don't think he sells for that much at all. 750 coins, 700. Yeah. Skill Senior. Let's see if we can pick him up for about 300 coins. Mustavar, let's check his price. Let's go 400 coins on him. See if we make about a thousand coins profit when we pick him up. Salziza, let's go 200 coins. Ibsen, 150. <laughs> that doesn't really sell for that much. But we're gonna try it anyway. It's Christian Labazza, let's go for 250 or so on that one. We got Albid, who outbid us? All oh, the Hollings here we got Albid on. That was a good pickup, 1,000 coins his price. Whoever picked that card up could potentially make like 700 coins profit on him. We did lose the Verone too, but we did get another Escobar and the Marquez. We're gonna sell these guys on 300 coins profit, I guess. Not really that much, but we'll take it though. We're gonna go about 900 coins or so for this Escobar. Makes about 600 coin profit. Got Albil and El Senior, but that's okay because he only sells for like 600 coins. Even though he's a five star skiller and a silver, it was quite rare last year. He was going for like 5,000 or so. Not nearly as rare this year. So I'm gonna have one more look in the 59th minute. If we find something great, if not, we'll just close out the video. These Minnesota United players do not sell at all. Brandon Vent, that's too cheap. Oh, only 200 coins. How much did he actually sell for? 950. So that's not, I mean, not a crazy amount of profit. But that is profit. Let's see, Matarita. He lost out on that one too. Man, he lost on everything. We sold somebody today. Who we sell? So we did sell Batchy, who said it's for 500 coins. Got him for about 200 coins. Not that much profit, but profit is profit. You guys gotta take what you can get in this game. I mean, if you're making 250 coins consistently on the cards, say you pick up four of those cards in a minute, sell them all, you're making a thousand coins a minute. So this can be a really good method. You can probably make like 20, 30,000 coins overnight easily, depending on how much you have, how much you invest into this. You can definitely make like 20, 30,000 coins an hour, I'd say, with this method. If you guys want a low budget, definitely want to be trading with a silver. That's the way to go. MLS, you can do Liga Mekis, the Eredivisie, Turkish League, anything like that that has an SPC. You guys can trade with your silvers and make quite a bit of profit in the process. But that's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Helps the channel grow. If you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing. I got like 84 subs right now. We're trying to get to 100. So only you guys can help me get there. Let's grow this thing together, guys. But thank you all for watching. Stay tuned. I will see you next time.